back in June, a section of this Roundup Road was washed out due to heavy rainfall. But this town is no stranger to natural disasters, which is why FEMA is now stepping in, offering options for homeowners. It's a serene place to be. Linda Newman has seen her fair share of activity outside her Roundup log cabin, a cabin her father started building back in the 80s. A lot of deer over on the hill over there, and elk. We've seen a bear across the road, and yeah, turkeys. But it's not just wildlife. She also sees the occasional natural disaster. My mother-in-law lived here, and she was out here for like two weeks. They would bring a boat to the other side. Newman's property is located on Number 4 Road, which was hit hard by floods back in June. It just drains the edge of the road, and you know, and it floods that whole bottom area. A section of the road was washed out, and it wasn't the first time. That washed out twice since we've been here. But now, a lifeline to residents who have seen enough. Muscle Shoal County DES is working with FEMA, offering to purchase flood-prone properties. Kind of allow the person to you sell it to the county, it becomes green space in perpetuity, so we can make parks or any kind of recreational spaces out there. But it allows these people that are in these flood prone areas uh, kind of out. To be eligible, DES says property owners must meet several criteria. They have to have a substantially damaged structure, and the property must include a primary residence or business and be in a floodplain. If they're in a flood zone, it's really hard for them to develop their property, to sell their property even, because of all the restrictions that are are in place in flood zones. It's not the first time FEMA has stepped in. The last time we did this was approximately six, seven years ago. The county purchased 37 properties in the wake of that flooding. As for interested residents this time around, only time will tell how many will end up participating. Oh, I would keep it here. The people that I know that are in the floodplain, I think they're kind of tired of being in the floodplain. In Roundup, Kelsey Boggs, MTN News.